Question 9. Alex gets injections of a medical drug. Each injection is 15 milligrams of the drug. Each day the amount of drug left in Alex's body from the injection decreases by 40%. So the amount of drug left in Alex's body T days after a single injection is given by the following function. Part A. Find the amount of the drug left in Alex's body two and a half days after a single 15 milligram injection. Give your answer in milligrams, correct to two decimal places. Okay, so again, it's kind of text heavy here, but a couple of things you just need to remember. The injection contains 15 milligrams, um, decreases by 40%. So that's why it's gone to 0 0.6 because it's one minus 0 0.4. And it's uh, in T days. So T stands for the number of days. So looking at part A here, they're basically just getting us to sub 2.5 in for T because it's 2.5 days. So I'm just taking my function 15 multiplied by 0 0.6 to the power of T and I'm basically subbing in 2.5 for my power for T. And when I work that out in my calculator, I'm getting 4.1823 and it wants it to two decimal points. So that's 4.18 milligrams. Moving down to part B now, um, how long after a single 15 milligram injection will there be exactly one milligram of the drug left in Alex's body? Give your answer to one decimal point. Again, I'm taking my function from the top of the question, 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t. Now the question is asking us to find how long, so that's asking us to solve for the power of t, find the value of t. Now it wants it to have a value of one milligram after a certain amount of time. So I'm going to let my function equals to one. I'm going to solve this now. So first thing I'm going to do is divide across by 15. So that gives me 0 0.6 to the power of t is equal to one over 15. I'm then going to go to my log tables um, from page 21 now and use the rule at the top right hand corner of that page, which is given as a to the power of x is equal to y is the same as log y to the base a is equal to x. So that's the rule I'm using here now. And filling that in, my a is going to be uh, t, that's the power, that's going to equal to the log of y, my y in this case is 1 over 15, to the base of a, which is 0 0.6, and that's equal to my t. So I just need to now type that into my calculator, the log of 1 15th to the base 0 0.6, and that's giving me 5.301. Question wants it to one decimal place, so how long does it take? So t is equal to 5.3 days. Part C, Alex is given a 15 milligram injection of the drug at the same time every day for a period of time. Part C, explain why the total amount of the drug in Alex's body immediately after the fourth injection is given by the following expression. Okay, so let's look at uh, building this expression, might be one way of looking at it. Let's look at uh, today, day one, what's happening today with the drug. So um, our function is 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t. So imagine I'm basically just about to start my uh, course of injections. I'm just about to start my stopwatch. So that's basically right now, which would be the power of zero. And that means that when I put the injection into my arm or Alex puts it into his arm, 0 0.6 to the power of zero is one, 15 times one is 15. So that means there's 15 milligrams straight away in his body. And that's that 15 here. Let's then look at what happens tomorrow, day two. So same principles again, I take my function, 0 0.6 to the power of t, and I'm in a full day, 24 hour period, so this time tomorrow would mean that my power is to one, because it's tomorrow. And when I evaluate that, I'm getting 15 times 0 0.6, and it, I'll just keep it as 15 times 0 0.6, because that's, this one here. And I'm just going to do one more. I don't think we need to do out all four. I'm going to do day three now. 
again, taking my function, 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t, I'm looking at day three, so I'm putting it to the power of two. So see how my powers don't actually match the day because day one was to the power of zero. And that's giving me 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of three. Now you can do out day four if you want, but you can hopefully see that I'm building up a, a geometric series here um, because I'm adding them together. So therefore, building my series here, I have 15 for day one plus 15 times 0 0.6 for day two plus 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of 2 for day 3 and so on and so on and so on now maybe i don't know i haven't checked the marking scheme here so maybe we'll just do out day 4 maybe uh, just to be safe so just perhaps just do out day 4. Um, looking now at part d to this question uh, find the total amount of the drug in Alex's body immediately after the tent injection give your answer milligrams correct to two decimals so if we use our knowledge here from part uh, C, we have a geometric series. This uh, expression that they gave us in part C basically represents the amount of the drug in his system after any amount of days. So that's the, uh, the sequence here. And it goes on and on and on and on to infinity. So 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t. And if I go to my log tables now and go to page at 22 so page 22 in our logs here you can see the formula um, for the sum of a geometric series so it's given as sn is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n all divided by 1 minus r and just filling in our pieces of information here my value for a is the first term so that's 15 the first term in my sequence my r is what I'm going up by each time, the ratio. So if I take any term, so let's say take term two divided by term one. So we would have 15 times 0 0.6 over term one, which is 15. 15 is cancelled, so my common ratio here, I'm increasing by 0 0.6 each time, basically. That's what that's telling us. So let's sub that in now to my formula. So I have Sn, so I'm looking for S of 10. So I have S10 is equal to A15 times one minus R to the power of N15 all over uh, one, sorry, my power is not 15. Our power is 10 days, isn't it? And it's one minus R, which is one minus 0 0.6. Working that out, I get the sum of the first terms to be 37.273. Question wants it to two decimal points. So 37.27 milligrams. Part E, use the formula for the sum to infinity. Okay, so that formula is from our log tables on page 22. So they're giving us a hint there that we have to use this formula. So that's the sum to infinity is equal to a over one minus r. Uh, so use the formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series to estimate the amount of the drug in Alex's body after a long period of time. So we are going to use our sum to infinity. So sum to infinity is equal to a, again from part d is our first term, which is 15 over one minus r. My r is my common ratio. Again, from part d is 0 0.6. So that gives me sum to infinity of uh, 15 divided by 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 37.5 milligrams. Part F, Jessica also gets uh, daily injections of a medicine, medical drug at the same time every day. She gets D milligrams of the drug in each injection. Each day, the amount of the drug left in Jessica's body decreases by 15%. Use the sum of the geometric series to show that the total amount of the drug in Jessica's body immediately after the end injection is given by the following expression. So the first thing you're going to do here is basically come back to Alex's injection. You remember Alex's um, injection was given as uh, 15 times 0 0.6 to the power of t. So I need to maybe make use of that. So if I use my um, 
our do, 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 what do we use our compound interest formula so you know our compound interest formula is given by one uh one minus our interest rate but in this case it's going to be one minus um what it decreases by basically and it's decreasing here by 15 percent and 15 percent is 0 0.15 and to the power of t and that's going to give me then 0 0.8 uh, to the power of t now what we don't know though is the amount of drug she gets we know that that stands for d now in alex's the amount of drug he got was 15 milligrams so i'm just going to keep that uh, 15 as a d for jessica so it's d times 0 0.8 to the power of t that's the amount of drug that jessica is going to get every day of the week now let's set up a sequence here for um a continuous amount of days so let's let's set up a geometric series so we're going to do day one and what's happening on day one um so she's taking some amount of drug 0 0.8 sorry that should be 0 0.85 my fault 0 0.85 and it's going to be to the power of zero because once again she's taking it right now that's the time i start my stopwatch so no time has passed when the first injection goes in then i'm looking at day two so i'm adding on the amount of drug that's in her after day two so that's going to be d times the amount of drug 0 0.85 to the power of one and so on and so on so let's do out one or two more so day three 0 0.85 to the power of two and so on and so on and so on up until maybe let's call it a uh, day n because the question is talking about the end day so that's going to be d times 0 0.85 to the power of n so using our uh, sum of the sequence uh, or the series from our log tables on page 21 it's sn is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r which is giving us then a first term a of d because d it, this is my first term technically and 0 0.85 to the power of 0 is 1 and 1 times d is d so my a is d and my or my common ratio is what it's going up in so again take term 2 divided by term 1 which is d times 0 0.85 to the power of 1 uh, divided by d because d is my first term the d's will cancel so my common ratio is going up by 0 0.85 each time so that's everything i need now for filling in my sn formula so filling it in i'm getting sn equals d times 1 minus r 0 0.85 to the power of n divided by 1 minus r 1 minus 0 0.85 so that's leaving me then with sn is equal to i'm just going to put a 1 in front of this d if it helps so 1d times 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n all over 0 0.15 now look what happens come out here to the side maybe i'm basically going to divide this 0 0.15 into this one so i'm dividing one by 0 0.15 and when you go to your calculator and divide um one divided by 0 0.15 you get 20 over three so that means that this here is the same so it's an equivalent fraction basically one over 0 0.15 is the same as 20 over three so my final solution here is sn is equal to instead of 1 I'm calling it 20 and instead of 0 0.15 it's going to be 3 because that's an equivalent fraction so it's 20d times 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n and all over 3 and that's if you scroll back up oh sorry it's gone a little bit too far that's basically what they wanted us to show part 2 immediately after the seventh injection there are 50 mg of drug in Jessica's body Find the amount of drug in one of Jessica's daily injections. Give your answer to the nearest mg. So basically what we're doing here, uh, we're going to take the formula there from F part 1. And we're basically going to let that equal to 50 mg. Because that tells us the amount of mg in our body at any time. So that's my first step. 
So I have my 20 D times one minus 0 0.85 to the power of N, all divided by three. And I'm letting that equal to 50 uh, because there's 50 MGs. Now I also know um, N. N is standing for uh, seventh injection in this case. So I'm subbing in seven for my N. So rewriting my equation here, I'm gonna have 20 D times one minus 0 0.85 to the power of seven all over three is equal to 50. I'm going to, there's different ways we can do this. I'm just gonna put this over one and cross multiply here. Fraction is equal to fraction. So that's going to give me uh, 20 D times one minus 0 0.85 to the power of seven equals three fifties, which is 150. Uh, dividing across by the 20 will give me D times one minus 0 0.85 to the power of seven equals 150 over 20. If I work out now what's inside my bracket here, uh, that's gonna give me uh, D times one minus 0 0.320577 equals 150 over 20, which simplifies to seven and a half. And taking 0 0.32 away from one will give me D times 0 0.6794. I'm just gonna go to a good few decimals here. Um, equals 7.5. So to get D in its own, I'm going to divide across by 0 0.679. So that's gonna give me then, um, when I type that into my calculator, a D of 11.03878. Now the question wants it to the nearest mg, so that's 11 milligrams. 